These normally quiet streets in northwest Paris are the latest epicenter of a deadly issue in French society. Police say an 18-year-old man killed a middle school history teacher with a knife after he showed a caricature of the Prophet Muhammad in class. He was teaching about freedom of expression. According to my son, who is Muslim, who sat in his class, he is disgusted, he is disappointed. He told me this was a teacher he liked, a very nice, very pleasant professor, not Islamophobic or whatever. Parents say the teacher... As if... Okay, I'm sure that he didn't mean that. No, I, no I'm not going to put words in his mouth. She suggested Muslim students could leave the classroom if they were offended. See the teacher who is now decapitated? He told, he's, he, he does what I do, right? He told the Muslims, like now I'm, when I'm desecrating the Quran, I tell my audience that if you're a Muslim and if you don't like seeing me desecrate the Quran, now's your chance to look away. So this is a new policy that I have here. So apparently this professor was doing this before. Uh, he was like, he wanted to show the cartoon of Muhammad and he told the students that if you're a Muslim, you don't have to be here for this. If this offends you, you could go out while I show this. So which is very nice of him to do so. Um, wait, hold on. British Pakistani atheists saying freedom of expression classes need to be taught uh, throughout Western Europe. I think just, um, I would actually say enlightenment values should be uh, like freedom of, it shouldn't be like classes just on freedom of expression. I think like value, like enlightenment values should be part of the course that all, all kids go through. And freedom of sp expression should be part of that class. Yeah, and I think that should be mandatory, by the way. Well, my son is disturbed. Look at this idiot. Look at this idiot, John. We're, we're, we're covering a story of somebody being uh, beheaded in the name of Islam, and this guy is crying about Islamophobia. Imagine how dumb you have to be for you to talk about Islamophobia when it comes to this context. In this context. Holy crap, look at the shitty take that this person has. In any case, I'm not putting him back in school. It's over. It's the end. Even after the holidays, because we're scared. We're not safe here. I'm afraid of retributions. I don't know if they'll come to school or whatever. President Emmanuel Macron says the nation stands ready to defend teachers and France's secular values. One of our fellow citizens was murdered today because he was a teacher, because he was teaching students freedom of expression, freedom to believe and not to believe. Our compatriot was attacked in a cowardly fashion. He was the victim of a characteristic Islamist terrorist attack. Less than a month ago, two people were attacked outside the former offices of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Gunmen attacked the magazine's offices in 2015 after it published controversial cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. 17 people were killed. The suspects are on trial. Two weeks ago, Macron said in a speech, Islam is a religion that is in crisis all over the world today. We are not just seeing this in our country. By the way, it's very interesting because he said all of this before any of this happened. It's uh, as, as if like uh, Islam is a religion that is in crisis all over the world today. And then, like, within less than a week, this happened. It's like as if, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah, see, I was right. But, but we'll, we'll comment on that later. Challenges to fight against those who go off the rails in the name of... I mean, that's how it comes across. Uh, as, I'm not suggesting that he was, like, predicting a future or anything like that. Religion while protecting those who believe in Islam and are full citizens of the Republic. Yeah, so see, this is not at all big anti Muslim bigotry in any way. This man is concerned for his citizens, including his Muslim citizens, and he's worried about the fact that they're becoming more and more radical because they're becoming segregated. He wants them to be take part in French society as fellow French citizens. The president himself, Macron, came and traveled to the, to the crime site today to, to stress the point again around the relationship with, between this country, with Islam, of course. And there's just something very tense, there's something very, with a lot of intensity. 
The attacker was shot dead near the school as officers tried to arrest him. All right, let's watch uh, this other video before we go and look at the different takes people are having. By the way, we're going to... Um, I, I haven't seen many Muslim channels cover uh, respond uh, react to this yet, at least not the ones that I usually re review. Um, I don't know if they are gonna, but if they do, we probably will review how the Muslim Islamic channels will react to this. Okay, um, let's watch this one by France Twenty Four. Let me close this one. It was during a class like this one, dedicated to freedom of expression, that the vic. I like that they have classes dedicated to freedom of expression. Like what the hell? I I never knew that. I never had classes like that in you know in Vancouver. Tim used visual aids, drawings. On the fifth of October, these consisted of caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. To avoid offending some pupils, the teacher suggested that those who wished to could leave the classroom. Some pupils were shocked by the drawings and told their parents so. One father expressed his anger on social media. So this is the father of one of the Muslim kids, and he posted this because he was angry that the teacher was showing the cartoon of Muhammad. Let me actually see what you guys are saying in the live chat. British Pakistani atheist saying the guy who carried out the murder was Chechen. Yeah, I know it was a Chechen refugee. France provided him with protection, and this is how he repays the country. Um... All right, let's continue. And reported the teacher to police on the 8th of October. He is a thug who's supposed to be teaching them history and geography. This man has since been taken into police custody. The te so that guy, okay, here's the thing. I don't think, I don't, so this guy was upset, right? And he was telling, he was saying, why are this, why is this teacher teaching our kid, showing our kid, uh, kids cartoons of, Prophet Muhammad, okay? You might, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this should be okay. This uh, this should be encouraged, right? Because, like, I know I don't know why this guy was arrested. I don't know, maybe he said something that I don't know a, a bit above, you know, what, what, the, what this video is explaining. But we want people to be able to complain like this, right? Because more complaining like this, means like you have avenues for your expression of you know your dismay without violence like if, especially if you're hurt even if you're wrong i don't care that you're wrong i mean i do care that you're wrong but you should be heard right if you like i don't like that this professor is showing cartoons of muhammad in class this is how you deal this is what you do you go and you make a fuss about it you complain about it and people should listen you can listen to you or not right but i don't know why this guy was arrested police on the 8th of october he is a thug who's supposed to be teaching them history and geography he's okay so he doesn't like what the teacher is teaching them and he's complaining about it this is fine i mean you're you mean you're wrong. i mean not fine in the sense that we agree with you but fine in the sense that this is how you give voice to your, you know, how you express yourself, this should be encouraged. You're like, this is France. You get to complain about things that you don't like. Why was this guy arrested? This man has since been taken into police custody. Why? The teacher was given a hearing. Why was that other guy taken into custody? I don't understand. Am I missing something here? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay for them to be upset and it's okay for them to complain. And their complaints should be heard, even if we disagree with it. Yeah, of course not for viol Yeah, of course no call for violence. Duh. Okay. Bring by a commission and press charges for defamation against him. Press charges for defamation against this guy? Is that what they're saying? What happened to freedom of expression, the values of freedom of expression that France... Guys, am I mis misunderstanding this news? ...and has since been taken into police custody. The teacher was given a hearing by a commission oh. and pressed charges for a defamation against him. What? Guys, can you explain to me what's happening here? So this guy was taken into custody. Are they talking about this guy that is complaining on social media? History and geography. 
This man has since been taken into police custody. The teacher was given a hearing by a commission and pressed charges for a defamation against him. Defamation because somebody said, I don't like what is being taught in the class? Yeah, I hope there's more details to that because that is like a violation of someone's freedom of expression, in my opinion. Unless I'm misunderstanding what's happening here. Okay, look at this guy. I, yeah, I know. Every new. Okay, oh, I believe Al Jazeera is biased in report, re, uh, reporting the man. What are you? I don't know what you're saying. But yeah, this is. We always know that there's. We use biased sources, and we. Try, first of all, this is France 24. Okay. But we always understand, we're not, this is not even Al Jazeera, but we always know that the sources that we look at could be biased and we're trying to dissect the bias that exists. Um, okay, so this guy is from France, is saying that so, some so-called parents, they were not talking about their own children, did not only complain, they also give the name and address of the teacher. Maybe there's more context here that made it um, reasonable for that man to be arrested and charged for defamation or something like that, but I don't understand. But based on the context of this video, it doesn't make any sense. His colleagues supported his teaching techniques. Due to the controversy around the incident, some parents met with the school's headmistress and debates were organized. Parents were brought together for mediated discussion, but this terrible tragedy reminds us that we need to be extremely vigilant. We need to protect teachers. So this is where we'll have to look at exactly what happened. Well, Terrell is um, saying, it sounds like the charges of defamation were against the teacher. Oh, here, yeah, there was a full stop after the custody. Defamation, the charge, okay, either, okay, so you're saying, your understanding was that the charges of defamation were against the teacher. That doesn't, that, okay, if that is the case, then it's ridiculous on the other side. Defamation against who? Prophet Muhammad? Like, how would that even be, how would, it, how would somebody even be able to file that charge? Like, yeah, I'm going to file a defamation charge against somebody who died 1,400 years ago? That would be even more ridiculous. The fact that you're even able to file a chart, like, yeah, either way, it makes what one is crazier than the other, but they both cr sound crazy. Oh, Nicholas, I every time somebody says my mistake, Mike, Nicholas, I appreciate you. <laughs> I hope um, I get, I, I am as easy as admitting my mistakes as you are. I, I, I hats off to you. Nicholas for saying that that that's very good. I I really love every time every time somebody says like I made a mistake, I was wrong. It reminds me to be careful and not hold my my views very strongly as well. Happened and what could have been done to avoid it. Effectivement, il faudra qu'on 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 voit précisément ce qui s'est passé et qu'est-ce qui aurait pu mieux se passer peut-être. It was not the first time the victim had a class of this kind and many other French Okay, yeah, Torel. Torel is maybe understanding this better than the rest of us. Torel saying, "What I mean is, like, the Muslim parents might try to file a civil suit, which would obviously be dismissed by any French court against the teacher of the defamation of their prophet." Yeah, but she said that it was filed, didn't she? So that means, like, you could, put it, like, the fact that you could, like, when you go fill out a form to file a char uh, to charge somebody for defamation. If the person that you are complaining about is has been has died fourteen hundred years ago, then the the paperwork shouldn't even go through. <laughs> the paperwork should have like somebody would like, yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> Sorry, that's not how this that's not how this works. <laughs> uh, 